Hey everybody, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program with me, Redneck Einstein. Today we are going to attempt something audacious, which I'm not sure we should be able to attempt at this stage in our career, but I'm going to try and land on the moon and bring a pilot back. But I have been testing this a little while, uh, just to show you around the rocket. I've been testing this a little while, trying to figure out if I can do it or not. I think maybe I can. But I'm not sure, so I'm not going to take Jebediah, our best pilot. I'm going to leave it up to Valentina Kerman. Now, this is going to take a while, so prepare to buckle your seats for the ride. Uh, the burn is not particularly quick, but I aim to do it in quite good time. Now, you can see we're slow to take off, so I'm going to give it a bit more fuel. There's quite a lot of fuel we're taking with us, and I'm not taking a um, Kerbal Engineer Redux module with me, so I have no idea how far this is going to get me. Um, I should have a delta V of around 7,600, and the scientific instrument we're taking with us are a thermometer, a barometer, the science junior, and uh, obviously Valentina, who can perform an EVA for me, hopefully, if we get high enough. Now, I don't even know if we can get past this opening stage, because I've added a little bit more weight to the rocket. But we're going to see what we can achieve now. We're just burning on liquid fuel now already. Normally, with a slightly different build, I'm a lot higher than this and going a lot faster with just um, with just solid fuel. But this is the build I've chosen, and fingers crossed it's going to make it. Now, I did have some heat shields on our uh, rocket around about there. But I had to take them off because they use up electricity and even fitting batteries on here It just wasn't enough uh, battery power to get us to the moon and back so Fingers crossed like I said, we're gonna get there. It's a big bad rocket this one and probably a little bit Overkill, but we'll see. We'll see if it's overkill or not. I'm not Totally convinced, but it's gonna be fun either way. We'll see what happens and if we have to leave Valentina there then so be it. Unfortunately, if we do have to leave her there, we haven't actually got an antenna on board. So it's a bit of a bit of a silly thing for me to do, but never mind. We're going to tilt our rocket now because we've got a good speed. I'm actually going to slow down so we use less fuel now. Oh, we need to spin our rocket a little bit that way so we don't get off course. Now we're going to be hitting a nice orbit here, or not quite an orbit, but we're going to be hitting a nice altitude. So I'm going to start tilting my rocket fully to the right now and hopefully create some sort of nice stable orbit. Now it looks like we need to start burning more fuel. Now what I'm hoping is by the time we get into an orbit of the moon, we're still going to be using this big single rocket in the middle there. That's what I hope and that's what I am aiming to achieve here. Now I'm going to control the rocket quite a lot here because I don't want it to go too high. I don't need it to go too high. I've been practicing this and, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm able to get into a stable orbit without doing any maneuvers or anything. Thus, we're not wasting any velocity. So I've managed to make this as efficient as I can, at least at this stage in our career. So here we go. There we go. What apoapsis are we going to get now? Nice. So I think you need around 2,200 meters per second for an orbit. Although we're going to wait and see. Now I'm going to use the physics engine here just to speed up. If you press the alt and the period or the full stop key as I like to call it. Then you can speed things up nicely. Now let's just slow it down and see where we're going. Alright we're going too far out on our apoapsis. So let's just not waste any fuel. Try and get our periapsis above the magic 75,000 meters mark. Oops. I've messed up that just ever so slightly. And there we go. We have our orbit. Nice. Now, how much fuel do we have left? A little bit. A little bit. Okay. So now what I want to do is set my target for the moon. And I'm going to position my maneuver around about there, I think, should be good. Let's see if we can get an encounter with the moon here. There we are. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. So we need to move our rocket over this little blue marker here. And we need a delta V change of 846 meters per second. Now I'm hoping this stage of the rocket will give us that. So let's just speed up, fly around curb in a little bit until we get to our burn time. Now I'm going to go for a S uh, the node in T will hopefully be around 19 seconds, half of the estimated burn time. 
And if you remember from my earlier videos, uh, we're aiming to do that because that way we get the most efficient burn. We get 19 seconds before the node in T and 19 seconds after the node in T. Now let's just slow things down and there we go. So set our thrust to maximum and start burning towards that blue marker there. Now I might speed up the physics engine again. I think I'm right in saying that's what we're doing, speeding up the physics engine. Nonetheless, it achieves the same thing, whatever we're doing. Okay, now get ready to cut the fuel. Just burn it ever so slightly. There we go. There's our encounter. And we're still on this stage of the rocket. Although we've only got a tiny bit of fuel left. Let's see what happens here. Now, once we get into uh, the gravity of the moon, then we can start doing our retrograde burn to slow down and get an orbit of the moon. So here we go. Let's do our little maneuver here. And we don't need too bad of a delta V, 253. And that'll get us 33,000 meters above the surface. 28,000, that'll do. So let's try and maneuver this giant jugger juggernaut. Now, I found a cool little trick here. If you maneuver this and um, you're going to be pointing slightly over, then all you've got to do is speed up the game engine and it'll stop it dead like so. Beautiful. Now, let's see. Let's get to the right point, and we need to be about eight seconds. So let's do our burn now. That'll do. Would have been better to do it at four, but I'm not too bothered about that. There we go. Now we're on our tiny part of our rocket left, and let's see how much liquid fuel we have left. 170 approximately. I'm still not convinced I'm going to be able to return Valentina, but we're going to do our best here. There we go. So, that'll get us to 29,000 meters above the moon. So, there we go. And now, what we need to do is start doing a retrograde burn so we can burn off this horizontal velocity and start plummeting down to the surface. So, let's just do that right now. And you can see that's using quite a lot of fuel. We're going to be under 100. It's, it doesn't... I, I don't know if we're going to be able to achieve this. Let's see here. So that's quite good. Let's leave it now. And you can see we're starting to drop down. Okay, that's quite good. We've got 94 liquid fuel left. And we don't want to go too fast. I'm going to lower my landed legs now because I don't trust myself. <laughs> and we're 20,000 meters above. So this needs some careful judgment. Uh, let's see here. Let's start slowing down now. We don't want to burn too fast. This does take a while. Speed up a little bit more. Slow down the game engine. You can see we're going to need to slow down significantly here. And it looks like we're going to land in a basement. Uh, not a basement, a basin. If we do land at all. Just landing's not usually a problem. It's coming back that's the problem. So let's see here. Still going quite fast. I think we can slow down our burn ever so slightly as we gradually approach the surface. Here we go. Let's just let it fall a bit more. And thankfully, the moon's gravity is not that bad, so it's not speeding us up too badly. Here we go. We want. It looks like we're going to be positioning on our side. I suspect my rocket's going to tip over. And poor old Valentina is going to be stranded here. Sorry, Valentina, but we'll try our best not to get you stranded. Let's see. We might be lucky here. Speed up a little bit more. There we go. And we have touchdown. Beautiful. And we've only got 59 liquid fuel left, but we're here. So let's do our little science experiments. 20 science from the crew report. From the pressure data, 48 science if we can get it. It might be a case that I need to replay this mission with a, um, what do you call it, with an antenna so we could beam back this data. But for now, we're doing all right. Wow, 100 science. Imagine if we can keep all this science. This is going to be epic. Oh, my God. Where's Valentina going? Valentina! She's not used to controlling herself like this. Why is she flying off like crazy? Ah, she's going to bang her head. Oh, Valentina. Stuck on the surface here. 32 science. Get up, woman. Can you plant the flag? 
You can! Yay! Our first flag planting. Whether it counts or not, I don't know, but here we go for Kerbin Kind! I'm gonna call this YouTube. You, well not you boob. YouTube landing. Woohoo! We did it! So now we need to somehow get back into our rocket. Fly, Valentina, fly! Uh, eh. Climb! Climb, woman! Oh no! She can't get back up. Jump! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Grab, 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 grab! Where are you going, woman? Oh my god! She's all over the place. Okay, ready? Climb slight, slowly, slowly. Grab on. Oh my god, we're on top of our rocket. Yeah! And we're back on there. Okay, now for the hard bit. Can we actually take off from here? And escape. Oh my god, why is our rocket tipping over? No! Ah, we need to turn on SAS. There we go, we're stable again. Okay, now to try and get back into orbit. Let's get rid of our legs. Come on, legs, close. Here we go. I don't know if we're going to have enough Delta V here. This is the problem. Please, please. Look at this. Come on, escape to gravity. We've got 38 liquid fuel left. Burn, Valentina, burn. We want to bring you back. Look at this gravity still gripping onto me. Fly, woman, fly. 20, 15 liquid fuel. 10. Oh my god, are you going to make it? Doesn't look like she's going to make it. We can't escape the gravity. Oh my god, 0 0.82 liquid fuel left. Well, she's in orbit, so potentially we could save her. Yes! This is awesome. Um, cool. So let's fast forward a little bit. This is pretty much pretty sure she's got no way of getting back like this, but we can definitely do a further mission and bring her back. Oh, amazing. Okay, let's do a little burn here. This is We're never going to have enough fuel for this. Look at that. Periapsis. Ugh. Just shy of having enough fuel. How annoying. Okay. I reckon anyway. Let's burn and see what we get. Burn! No, nowhere near enough. Ah, oh, Valentina. All that science is stuck out there in space. We're definitely going to have to perform a rescue mission. But we may need to do other missions before that. Uh, to get enough uh, science to unlock something to put her in maybe. Alright, let's go back to the space. Space Center and have a little look-see here if we've got anything to bring her back in. Um, yeah, let's go back to here where we build our rockets and see. So we can't put another command pod on there. But what have we got? We have got a hitchhiker storage container. How do we... The HSC was an invention of necessity. It's got a crew capacity of four. Yes! So we could go and save her, as long as we've got this, and then we rendezvous them, we'll be able to save her. Oh my god, this is amazing. That's going to come up probably in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. That was pretty exciting. If we can rescue Valentina from orbit, we're going to have like 200 science or something crazy. So, wow. Enjoy your day. Hopefully you've enjoyed that episode and more exciting stuff to come in the next few episodes. So keep watching. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.